120 kilometres out of Melbourne is a location so remarkable. Not only does it hold the title of the richest alluvial goldfield in world history, but it's also got a beer named after it. In 1851, three shepherds and a bullock driver struck gold just beneath the surface. Now, even for those days, news of the gold travelled fast because within six months, there were 25,000 guys here trying to get rich, and they did. All you needed was a pick, a shovel, and a little bit of muscle. And even today, Castlemaine, or Castlemaine, as the locals keep telling me, is a reminder of those glory days of gold. To experience the feel of early Australian homes, head straight to the Restorer's Barn, which can truly claim, if it isn't here, it doesn't exist. There's spanners, there's knobs, there's hinges, there's cars, there's door handles, there's more door handles, there's numbers. And then there's the stuff that I've never seen before in my life. Some of the early Australian homes in the immediate neighbourhood have a far more modern feel, though. Normally when you hear the words quirky, rustic, historic, when it comes to accommodation, it makes you a little nervous. Now, this building was built in 1866, and being Castlemaine, well, sure, it's historic, but it's also artistic. This B&B might just be a little different. This B&B, known as B&B, &B, is an indication of exactly the kind of thing going on all over Castlemaine. A cool, modern heart is pumping with some delightful, historic bones. These days, Castlemaine, or Castlemaine, is more known for its artisanal pursuits. You've got coffee roasting and cuisine and beer brewing and art and all things healthy, hip and happening. And the hub of those pursuits is here at the old Castlemaine Woolen Mill, a food, artisan and vintage precinct that the brochure calls Castlemaine's Happy Place. Inside is Dust Coffee House with a small batch coffee roastery at the back and whatever your heart desires to accompany it, providing it's rich, sugary, creamy, hearty and Austrian. This is literally Elna's taste of Austria with a real taste of Austria. I've noticed all Austrian food starts with S though. I've got to have a schnitzel. You've got to have a schnitzel with a potato salad. Salad, uh, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut with the sausage. Sausage. What about for dessert? Strudel. Strudel and a sakatorte. Sakatorte and a schnapps. Schnapps to digest it. Definitely schnapps. Perfect. Sensational. <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> Champagne. Let's do it all. Next door, where dogs have wings, float in boats, carry canaries on their backs and generally look in need of a damn good beer, a damn good beer can be found. As the drummer for hunters and collectors, shed shaker brewing owner Doug Falconer spent years playing to sweaty, alcohol fueled punters in the biggest venues around the country. And he clearly knows his way around a beer. Doug, I've always thought, why have one beer when you can have a paddle of four beers. Yeah. Um, what do we got, mate? Well, this is uh, breakfast lager, which is brewed with maple syrup and oatmeal. Do you start the breakfast beer? What time do you have that? Seven, all eight? Breakfast all day around here. <laughs> Let me try that. <laughs> yeah. Morning, kids. <laughs> and then I noticed a beer that really intrigued me, the Frailty Pale. And this is our Frailty Pale Ale, which was uh, brewed for the 30th anniversary of my band's album, Human Frailty, because the band wouldn't get off its bum and do anything about it. And that's typical of Castle Maine. It's the kind of place where the artistic, the creative and the hospitable come to produce something so stylish, tasty and comfortable. You feel as if arms have been thrown around you.